Okay, so this is how to use the microphone. So firstly, you wanna check that the speakers are turned on. So on the back of the speaker here, each speaker has an on button, so you can switch the speaker on. Uh, this should be on level zero decibels, and you can change that by adjusting this. So I'll put that on zero. The ideal setting, if you press it, is you can see here it says speech. And that's good if you've got people speaking. It should be set on that by default. Uh, make sure it's plugged in here, obviously. And then on the other side, you've got another speaker. So that should be doing exactly the same thing. So turn the speakers on. Make sure make sure this uh, input is, is plugged in here. Um, it doesn't really matter, actually, which one I think that you go in, as long as one is coming in. And this cable will go into these two here. So this is where the speakers go in. So this should already be set up, but if one of those is missing for some reason, that's a concern because otherwise it won't connect to the speaker. So make sure this goes to one of them and this other one goes to this other speaker over there. So then the second thing is make sure all these are plugged in. They should all be in by default. These are all the microphones. So the microphones are in the bucket there. Um, check the battery. Check the battery is uh, is full you can see that when you turn on the microphone I would bring some spare batteries you can see here this is two bars left so it's medium uh, if it's low it might run out on you so you to get the battery you just unscrew this bottom part and you just put the battery in there uh, or two batteries it's uh, I think it's double A or triple A I can't remember which but you'll see when you open it uh, so that's that then uh, the setup is on here so firstly this uh, needs to be on so these little boxes are the receivers or sorry uh, yeah receivers for the microphone so if you're using one microphone then this one needs to be on and you can turn off the other ones it's a good idea to turn off the other ones like this by pressing and holding that because then you avoid getting any interference and sometimes you can get uh, sort of buzz sounds if you leave these turned on so turn them off if you're not using them I'm gonna go ahead with a sort of situation here where we're just using one microphone so I'm turning all of them off and just leaving this one on and this here is number one you can see there's a number on here saying number one so that's that microphone number one if you turn it on you should see here it says 554.800 that's the frequency and that should match that this should all be turned on and ready when you use it but if for some reason someone's fiddled with it double check that those figures should match and you can you can change this on here so you can change it to, to match um, make sure this volume is turned up which it should be again set already um, then we've got this bit here so this is probably the most important bit so I can show you a, a picture the, the the column that you're most interested in is this first column and that says here one on it that relates to microphone number one microphone two microphone three and so on all the way up here uh, if you want music, this is the aux one here, so there's a music one labelled. And then across here you've got the master volume. So um, right now as it's set up, you don't really need to tweak these um, things up here. This basically changes all of the dynamics of the audio. So if you take a look at this setting, just remember how this is set up. This is quite a good balance. Um, sometimes people fiddle with these, so just have a look to make sure they're all sort of lined up. Um, like that so that's how those should look if you want optimal audio also the gain here should be around about there so the key things here is this is the volume for the individual microphone up and down this button is a mute so if this is on you won't hear anything so make sure it's turned off that that means you're not muting so you can hear stuff this button here is very important it's the master so if this is not on you won't hear anything. It means you won't send any audio to the master. So turn this button on. So the two things here is make sure this is off. There's no lights, it's not muted. Make sure this button is pressed on so that it's going to master. And the audio you probably want to be round about here, I would say minus five-ish kind of level. Uh, so once that's set up, uh, look at the master level here and we've got it set to around about here. Um, this will control all of the microphones. So these are how you control individual levels, and this is how you control the master main level. 
so you can have it round about here and you can fiddle with this and test it obviously. So uh, I'm just going to turn this on, you can see the microphone's on, hello, hello. and you can hear that there's audio coming out. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Uh, if you want to do music, so this is the music um, uh, channel, um, this actually connects to these two uh, cables here, so I'll just show you how that works. Uh, if you want to plug an iPhone into this, the other, on the other side of this cable, there's a jack. So as long as you've got an iPhone that supports a jack, the new iPhones don't, so you'd need to have some kind of adapter. But if you've got something to plug this into, you can stream Spotify or whatever. Uh, that's this, these two cables here. And the, the control to do this is this one labeled music. So you would turn this up, and again, make sure it's not muted, make sure it's going to master, and then music should just come out automatically.